Chile and Argentina were at odds over the islands of the Beagle Channel since the late 19th century. It's a territory between the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. They turned to mediators such as the Hague Tribunal, the United States Attorney General and the Queen of England. However, none of them managed to bring them in line. Then, just hours before Christmas of 1978, Argentina moved its troops and everything pointed that war was inevitable. Both countries had the logic of war behind them and uh, they were both militarized, they were both uh, sending um, troops to the borders. Uh, uh, actually, they were on the brink of war. In the end, Argentine troops didn't occupy the island, and just four months after his election as pontiff, John Paul II accepted to mediate. It was his first mission in international politics. It was a time the papal nuncio in Argentina, Cardinal Pio Leghi, lived intensely. This is how he remembered the conflict a few months before his death. It was the, John Paul II in the, last, in the last hour that he spoke to them, to, to, the, to those that were in power, was Pinochet from one side and the military junta on the other side. He spoke so strongly and he said, wait, I come, and he sent immediately a cardinal to see whether they could find a way. The Pope appointed Cardinal Samore a mediator and sent him to the area. He was an effective mediator. In just two weeks, the foreign ministers of Chile and Argentina signed the Act of Montevideo, which formally requested mediation from the Vatican and renounced the use of force. The talks lasted for over five years and concluded on November 29, 1984. 25 years ago. On that day, the heads of state of Chile and Argentina signed the Treaty of Peace and Friendship at the Vatican. The islands on the northern channel were awarded to Argentina and the islands on the southern half to Chile. Moreover, both countries could sail through the area, although the marine territory belongs to Argentina. Through the good work of the cardinal and uh, through uh, the uh, great uh, credit that he had, John Paul II, they avoided the war and they were able at the end to make peace. Nevertheless, the Pope's mediator didn't get to witness the signing of the treaty because he died some months earlier. But in his honor, Chile and Argentina named one of its largest borders with the name International Pass, Cardinal Samore.